in our previous session we learned how to create a new graphical view okay and today's session we are going to learn how to create a sql view okay so let's look into this one so to create sql view so i need one table so uh, here what i did i imported one of the table remote table from s4 cloud and the table is you know purchase order item data in our graphical view we take a different table but uh, in this particular purchase order item table we have order quantity net price and all such kpis are there so it will be good if we can consider this one okay so i am going to consider uh, i imported this remote table with the name facts okay from s4 cloud connection and this is the table name now on top of this facts ta remote table i am going to create a new sql view okay i will show you how to create now so click uh, go to the business uh, data builder under data builder sql view so now you will get this kind of you know uh, view uh, in the creation uh, on the left hand side i can get the repository of the existing tables views you know intelligent lookup shared objects we will discuss later point hmm? these are the already available you know uh, tables and views in our repository hmm? and uh, coming to the right hand side this will be the view name so at the view which i am going to create a new sql view right i am giving a name called uh, tsbs uh, underscore purchase item underscore two this is the uh, view sql view name which i am giving now so when i am creating this sql view uh, on the language section i have two options sql standard query sql script table function so when we create a sql view we can create using two different operations either using standard sql you know notation or by using a table function kind of uh, notation so what exactly the difference is uh, we will see in come in some time okay when you're writing the uh, a view using standard sql then you can write only a single select statement and everything all the definition must be defined within this uh, sing, select statement like uh, whichever extra key figures you want to derive any joins you can do everything must be at the end it is one single statement okay whereas when if you take the table function uh, approach then you can define some internal tables also i will show you in some time so now i am creating a select statement here so select star from as i said i am going to use the facts remote table here okay when i type facts it is saying object that's it hmm. now because i given star here what happened all the columns from this fact will come but i don't want all the columns so uh, type something you know pur so when you when i type some letters it is giving hint so these are the columns information from the facts you know so purchase order i want purchase order you know column comma each column must be separated with uh, space uh, separated with comma and then purchase order item comma purchase order date so these are uh, you must know whichever fields you want to take okay uh, beforehand you creating this or else you uh, we are not getting you know without typing anything i am not getting any help from here hmm? uh, only after typing something i am getting you know this one so if i give a control space you see it is nothing is coming when i type something then only i am getting some hint when i give or then uh, along with the or all the fields with the matching this or i cutting so order quantity comma order um, order uh, then net net price quantity comma net price amount so these are the different uh, key figures which i want to uh, somehow could sing double code not came for this one okay as you know when you are writing a select statement uh, each column must be separated with the comma and at the end of the last column we have no need to put anything and at the end we have format facts here sap giving a format uh, tab here button here by clicking on this sap formatting it so it is not only creating a direct columns from the from the remote table we can derive a new columns also so how to derive a new column here i am going to write a case statement okay case and before writing this one uh, let's uh, look into how exactly happen what exactly happening here so when i selected these fields from this table on the right hand side you see whenever you click on save button empty please add some columns mm. 
click on save. Okay, uh, just save the, your view. Uh, you see, from the select statement, automatically system will bring the column information. You know, you no need to add anything manually here. So from your select statement, if the select statement is correct, then system will get all the information from all the column information from your select statement. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a case statement here uh, to show you. So I'm writing a case statement, case. So in my table, in my facts remote table, I have a column called material group. So I want to bring data uh, based on, uh, you know, I am going to perform some action or else. Case material group. You see material group is one of the column, case this one, and when. So when the material group is Z001, then what I am going to do, I am going to perform order quantity into 10. So here I am writing that operation, order quantity into 10. When I am giving integer numbers, no need to pre, you know keep any single quotes, but if it is a decimal number, it is must. Okay. Else, if it is not a 001, then what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep sim a simple zero. Okay, this is my logic here. So the intention here is uh, how to write a case statement in the view is the in intention here. Okay, so whenever the middle group is 001, I'm going to multiply my order quantity into 10. So at the end, I need to save as this entire column name, I need to provide some column name, right? So as I'm giving name as CKF underscore order quantity. So derived order quantity, I can say hmm? quantity. Now after this, at the end of this, I'm giving comma. So now this one, either I can keep this statement here or I can keep at the end also. But as of now, I'm keeping here and clicking on check button. So by clicking on this check button, system will validate your select query. If it is valid, then you will, you see here, I got CKF order quantity. But what happened here, one issue came. So the CKF order quantity system considering it as a characteristic field, not as a key figure. Okay, so can I change the data type here? You see, I don't have any option to change the data type from here, okay, from the graphical. But what I can do, uh, since it is not able to consider my field as a key figure, so I need to, uh, you know, typecast this to uh, decimal number. So to do so, we can use uh, one of the, you know, typecasting function, two underscore decimal. By using this particular function, two decimal, I can convert this into uh, after end. I need to give the decimal. So 17 is my precision, two is my um, you know scale. Come. So what happened? This entire now whatever result this case statement is returning, the result will be typecasted to decimal format. Okay. Now when I click on validate, now this CKF will be turned into a, a, a key figure kind. Okay, this is how you can. So if you want help on, you know, uh, type this one, we have SAP already providing help, you know. If you go to this SAP help portal under SAP HANA Cloud database, HANA, under SAP SQL references functions, you can get all these, you know, functions available. So you can easily, you know, uh, pick whichever functions you want. <coughs> Uh, conversion functions. For example, data type conversion functions, if you go, these are all the different data type conversion functions which you can use based upon your requirement. And if you want to write some other, uh, if you want to learn it, you can go and learn from here, okay? Under this, this is the path that we need to remember. Next point is, so when we are fetching data from the remote table, as we know, we are not going to fetch all data. So I'm going to apply some where condition here. So where material group is equal to, with material group, uh, sorry. Uh, enter material group is equal to Z001. And um, I'm going to use my purchase order date greater than or equal to, um, greater than or equal to yesterday state. To make it uh, my data set simple 2023-04-17 okay i'm clicking on my checking my uh, sql is valid or not so it's valid then i'm going to save my sql so before saving here i want to explore a few things so if you uh, there are on you know we till now we didn't discuss about this semantic usage so under semantic usage currently this was a relational data set what is relational data set if you want if you are trying to bring some columns from the table 
then that's it there are no further operations you are going to perform then you can mark it as a relational data set but if you want to you know uh, make uh, semantic usage you know a summation overwrite that kind of aggregation behavior you want to apply on your key figures then you need to go for analytical data set okay whenever i select analytical data set you see i got an extra you know um, functionality called measures Hmm. It means uh, here, whenever we select the analytical data set, uh, we need to differentiate between the characteristic key figure, characteristic fields, and the key figures. Key figures are nothing but measures. So we, uh, whichever measures I have here, I am going to convert them into um, um, you know decimal numbers or integers uh, on which I can perform arithmetic operations. All such kind of uh, you know columns I can change into measure. So that what happens on these particular columns, there will be a uh, semantic, you know, summation, aggregation behavior apply. This kind also. And you see, uh, and here we have an option called expose for consumption. So for on these points, now we not yet discussed it so far. We will discuss these points on coming time. Okay, not immediately. So now I'm going to uh, save my view and then deploy it. So this is how to create a uh, SQL, you know, SQL view. This is one type of, so one type of SQL view, which is using SQL standard query. Okay, and I'm deploying it. So now after deploying this, uh, just I will show you data preview. And uh, after this, I will, I will show you how to create a uh, view using table function. Okay, so how to check the data preview by clicking on this data viewer symbol. You can see the data preview of this view. So now system is trying to fetch data from the facts remote table and from live, click on view data, it will fetch some data here. So let's see what it is. It's take, taking some time because of, uh, you know, fetching data from the remote table with the selections also. You see, I can, I got total seven records from yesterday and, you know, order quantity CKF also. Whatever order quantity I have multiplied by 10, I'm getting it. Okay, here. And that's all. So now let's uh, quickly jump into the next one. Hmm? Now I'm going to create a, one more uh, SQL view, but this time what I'm going to do, instead of creating uh, using SQL standard query, I'm going to use SQL script table function. So whenever I select SQL script table function, you see I got some, you know, uh, syntax here, not syntax, I can hint here. So our whenever we are using table function, then we must return some output here, return and select columns, whichever. So in this case, when we are using this table function, we need to do in a different way. So what is the different way? So here we are going to create the output structure first. Okay. So I'm going to create my output structure. So under the column section, first, before writing any SQL, uh, you know, um, view, I'm going to first define my output structure. So by clicking on this pencil symbol and by clicking on this uh, add symbol, I can do here. So purchase order is my first column and uh, which is of a uh, string of length 10 and then one more column. So I'm going to add four columns and then one is uh, purchase order item. So this is second one and uh, purchase order date. And the last one is order quantity. So I'm going to fetch only these uh, columns as of now. Hmm? And this order quantity is not a string type, it is a decimal type and with uh, 17 precision and two as a scaling factor. And for purchase order date, it is of type date. So I need to you know specify the data type properly. And item also I'm going to consider it as a five. Okay, if you don't know what to give here, you can go to the remote table and check the data type and length of those columns and provide those here. Okay, clicking on close button. So this will, so I created my output structure. And because my semantic type is relational table data set, so I can keep everything here. But if it is an analytical model, I can convert this order quantity into measure. Now let's quickly look into this one. So as I said, when we are using this table function, uh, you know, uh, long, uh, scripted uh, language, here we have a flexibility to create some internal tables to, it means like uh, to write some complex kind of SQL functionality, easily we can achieve by using this table function one, okay? LT underscore, for example, temporary table I'm creating. So select, uh, let's take star from 
facts facts is my remote table which we know already okay in our previous also we used facts is my remote table so here instead of a star then what i am going to give i am going to select a purchase order um, <coughs> What is it? Uh, object? Why it is showing object? Uh, select uh, mm, purchase. One second. Why I don't know why it is not coming. Facts is an object. Uh, so when I select a PUR here, it must come generally. Uh, mm, okay. Because maybe I uh, SAP. Here all are coming as purchase, uh, you know, select. Mm, okay, somehow it is uh, not coming, uh, what we do now. So, okay, to make it easiness, first write, let's write, select statement, okay. Select star from facts. Okay, now replace this star with whichever columns we need. So yeah, you see now, because I am writing here LT underscore temp, somehow system is not able to get this help here. So let's write the select statement individually, then assign it to an internal table. So select purchase order, comma, um, purchase order item, comma, and then purchase order date comma order quantity so this is these are my uh, required fields and i hope i given the same technique uh, te text also here. purchase order purchase order item and purchase order date because column names must match right when we returning this table that's the reason i'm checking so now i am assigning this select statement output to one of the internal table lt underscore tempo okay so i'm removing the below one so if you want uh, you know format you can use form okay format is not enabled uh, at the end, I can I'm giving the semicolon. Okay, so let's do some check because we did not yet return the return statement. Yeah, there will be one extra. Set. So by using return keyword, I am returning this LT underscore temp table. So now this LT underscore temp internal table is having the structure exactly equal structure to my output, which is four columns. Okay, so now when I do this check here, yeah, SQL is valid. So finally like this. So what exactly the intention here by using this table function kind of SQL script logic, I can create some local tables and it means we can create a number of local tables here and we can write some complex logic using this uh, by combining internal tables and, and all those such things. Okay, uh, but uh, the point here is uh, because if uh, we didn't kept any um, where condition just to make sure where material group, sorry, material group is equal to z001 just to make sure i don't get too much data when i do data preview and purchase order data greater than or equal to 20230417 okay that's it so i am saving my view so giving my view name as a, you know view table function vtf underscore purchase item underscore two okay clicking on save button and then i will deploy it so i hope you are clear with this how to create it you know sql sql view using both different kind of languages and uh, in this sql view also once we successfully deployed this sql view uh, just like our graphical view here also we can do persistence okay it means we can persist the data on uh, you know sql based views also you see we have an option called persistence we can have different other options also and we will explore these options on coming days okay thank you for watching